Hi, I'm Brian Chong. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we're going to discuss about SQL accounting system training. Today's topic will be maintain chart of account. Let's get started. In SQL accounting system, once you created the database, when you go to general ledger, maintain account, we already have a standard chart of account. So you do not need to start from zero. Basically, the way we do is we separate the chart of account into different categories current asset, current liabilities, and so on. And normally, the first thing that you need to do is go to current asset, and you can see cash at bank. And over cash at bank, this is the parent's account. If you have different bank account, what you need to do is create sub-account under cash at bank. To do that, just click at cash at bank, click new, give a account code. SQL account system, GL code or account code can support 10 digit alphanumeric or you can follow our standard. Let's say the parent's account is 310-000. You can create 310-001. That means the first sub account. Let's say you have Maybank account. Then over here, you can put in your Maybank account number. And you can see that you have a Maybank account under Cash at Bank. Let's say you have multiple bank accounts, you just click back at Cash App Bank and create accordingly. Of course, if under May Bank account you want to do sub account again, it is possible. SQL support unlimited level of sub account. Let's create a parent's account. For example, let's say you have an expenses called Inda Water, and you can see that Inda Water is not available over here. What you need to do is click on the expenses category. Right hand side, click new. You can put in your own GL account code or follow our standard 9219229239 continue 924-000. That's zero, zero, zero. Description just put in the water. Click OK, done. And you can see that there's an account called in the water. Or if you don't want, you can create under expenses, create one account called utilities. New. 925-000 description put utilities click ok and you want in the water go under utilities you may just drag and drop and you can see that in the water is under utilities and you can rename accordingly if you want to become 925-001 now you can see that in the water is sub account under utilities during transaction, for example, you go to cash book entry, click new PV. Why SQL accounting system is so easy is because instead of memorize all the account code or understand double entry, you can just use the account name to do searching. For example, under payment voucher payment two, you can just put in the water bill for Jan 2025. How you pay the Inda water bill, you can select cash or your bank account. You can see your main bank is over here. Reference number, now no more using check, is online FPX reference number. Last time when you do accounting, you need to know debit which account, credit which account, or you need to memorize all the GL code or scroll to look for it. But in SQL, let's say I ask you, what is the account code for Inda water? You cannot remember. No problem under GL code, here is in the water over GL code. Just type back in the water. I N D. Got it. Because in SQL, we can use the account name to search. Imagine as long as all your account name is understandable by yourself. You got water, one account called water, electric, electric, renter, renter. So it's straightforward. Put in the amount, save, done. That means this is payment voucher. You can preview and print the payment voucher. And if you want to know the double entry, just right click, show double entry. We have done the debit credit or double entry for you and the profit and loss already updated accordingly. It's that easy. If next time, if you want to key back the similar transaction, you may even can go back to that transaction, double click the previous transaction, right click, copy the voucher, new PV, right click, paste the voucher, copy paste, and you just need to change some description. 
change the description or check number because it will be still using the same Maybank, same Inda Water account. Just change some description. Maybe now become 30 ringgit. Save. Done. Double entry done. And your transaction update accordingly. Just by using copy and paste and change description without need to select any account. This is how easy SQL accounting software. If you are interested to purchase SQL accounting software or sign support maintainers, you may contact us directly. Once again, I'm Brian Chong from Syntax Technologies. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.